How's it going everybody? This is Jason with Glitch in the System and this is another episode of Exploratory Testing. If you've never been here before, the rules are simple. I have 30 minutes to go out, find a website, and find as many bugs, defects, issues as I can and present it to you. If I'm not able to find anything within 30 minutes wrong with that website, I must buy something from that website and use it on my next live stream. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit of how I usually do these videos. Typically, there are like a longer video uh, showing everything that I've done for the testing, but I think it's getting a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut it up and only show you the highlights. If you wanna see the full unedited version, hit the description link and you'll be able to see that in full. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this next website that I am testing. This person is huge and I've been following him on YouTube for quite a while now, and I'm so excited that he has a website that I can go out and test. So this week we are testing Mr. Beast Burger. Okay, stay tuned and let's see what we can find. Okay, let's get started. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, here's the website, Mr. Beast Burger. There's Mr. Beast. Um, they got these cool little animated fries. So. Design wise, this is pretty cool. It's, it's fun. It's you got Chris Beast, Carl Chandler, you got the whole crew there. They got their own things and you can you got some information about Mr. Beast and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and let's view the menu. I got all our burgers, Beast, Chandler, Chris, Carl, and then crispy chicken tender, Nashville Hots, Beast style fries, and then seasoned fries. And you got combos, desserts can soda water all that good stuff and they have an app also so maybe we'll test the app in a future episode so let's just jump on over to order now so you can see the website changed to order.mrbeast.com order.mrbeastburger.com is not the same as mrbeastburger.com so mrbeastburger.com is just kind of like a front uh kind of pretty marketing kind of site so let me show you that again so it's this pretty kind of marketing site but then if you go to menu you can't actually order anything here um, it's just it's just uh, all cosmetic order.mrbeast.com is actually a different website that lets you do more things like ordering got locations here they're all closed because it's a little early right now all right so here we go that looks pretty good look at this this looks nice so combos burgers sandwiches sides desserts beverages all right, let's start off with the combos. So they come as a double. You can do a triple for extra two bucks. You get an extra patty there. All right, let's just do do the big one. This is like truncated. You have all this room, but why why are you adding that? I'm not a fan of uh, this this truncating here. You should just uh, write the whole thing. Um, but this little button does work, so you can uncheck it or you can just do this. Um, how do I get down here? I'm trying to scroll right now and it's not letting me scroll. So do I click this? No. All right. So unfortunately, Mr. Beast, your, your website has some issues. So uncut type error cannot read property value of null, um, but I can't click that. I can't get down here. So I can't finish my order for this combo because I can't see the rest of the thing because I'm pretty Pretty sure I need to click all the things in order for me to be able to uh, get down there. Um, just for funsies, let's go back, start over again. Mr. Beast, your combo has an issue. You can't scroll down to see all the things. And here's another example. Served with canned Coke dot dot dot. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't truncate that there because you don't know what it comes with. Um, so next up, burgers. Let's, let's see if we can just order a burger. B style. So it looks like this is a common thing. So yeah, so I think this, whatever this error is, it is not happy at all. Look at that, there's 108 of them. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's do a brand new window. Okay, order now. Can soda, that's funny, they took the label off. The water bottle too. But there's a label here. Coke or Diet Coke. You can get a di canned Diet Coke. This is why you don't truncate stuff. Canned Diet Coke. Now it says, who is this for? Um, first name, last initial. Bob B. Uh, shake it well. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's see if we can scroll the page now. Oh, there we go. 
So for some reason, it wasn't letting me scroll the page earlier, but now it is. I had to completely uh, clear my cache and reload. Okay, but let's continue. Um, let's do that one. Oh, so you can do a triple and you can add an extra patty. So I'm gonna do four patties, extra cheese, add bacon, lettuce is 50 cents, dear goodness. Extra beef pat, extra beef style try, add caramelized, remove onion, remove cheese. So some of these, uh, good grief. So you need to have a little uh, more padding here. Um, but yeah, so some of these don't make sense to go together. So if somebody said extra cheese, you shouldn't let them choose remove cheese at the same time. Or if they choose remove cheese, then it should remove the extra cheese because basically you're charging them when they have both selected. Cause somebody could have accidentally, cause like, it's not obvious. So choose your side. You can get seasoned fries or beef style fries, beef style fries, of course, but you can't customize them. Say if I don't want pickles, that's good. All right. And then choose your drink. You got a whopping four options. I don't know, but that can diet cock sounds really good. So these are smash burgers. So I asked for extra smashed. Um, okay. So this is kind of a hot mess of just like a bunch of things because, um, it should be like burger, extra beef, extra something, extra something, fries, seasoned, um, uh, kind of like laid out in a way that it makes sense. But this is kind of just a laundry list of random things in there. Okay. Let's see how many I can order. Is there a limit? I'm going to stop at 100 because my finger is getting tired. Yep, it's still going. Add to order. Please enter a valid quantity between 1 and 99. So do you know how you fix that problem so you don't have to ever add that error message? Just don't let me go past 99. So this is pretty ridiculous that you're going to let me order 99 of these things. Um, this is Mr. Beast though. So Mr. Beast would order 99 of these things, but for anybody else, I think that's pretty ridiculous. And look, cart is overlaid on top of the dollar amount there. More issues. Okay. All right. Let's go to sides. I love me some fries. So look, so you can customize these bad boys, but if you're doing it in the combo, it doesn't let you. Bacon and a uh, chopped burr. I have some chopper seasoned add to order sandwiches sandwiches like i said this is look at all that look at all that green on the side so you should have the same uh way of adding stuff to the cart for each item so the burgers when you clicked on the item it lets you customize it you're not letting me customize these things i understand carl's grilled cheese there's not nothing to customize, but it should still open that page and say add to order, or you can just click the add to order button. So it should be consistent. Adding lots of those because I'm like, what if I want a Nashville chicken tender sand, but I don't want no pickles. I can't get it and get it. There's no, no modifications on that chicken sand. You got an option of chocolate chip cookie. So am I getting one cookie or three cookies? So that's a little kind of customer confusion issue there. So if I'm getting one cookie, Cool. If I'm getting three, even better. Report a bug. That's fun. Looks like we're having issues. Our team has been notified. If you'd like to help. It looks like we're having issues. So it knows we're having issues. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create this video. I'm going to upload it. And then I'm going to, and I'm going to paste it into here and see if they reply. Because we got, we sure do got issues. But it's a, it's a video link to a YouTube. So who knows if they'll reply, but, um, I'll tag Mr. Beast on it too. Let's let's go back into mobile here just to see how that's going. Okay, so this looks better, but you can see this is a little, little weird here. There's sign in, it's cart, you can check out. So let's, let's see what this looks like. We'll add all the things, all the things, including the removing of the things. This is so much better like this. Do you see this? This is so much better on this view than it was on the web. You can see all the prices here. You can see the full text. You can see that these things don't charge anything. Um, and they're grouped together. Look, 
so it's easier to see. So beef style, triple burger, extra cheese, bacon, blah, blah, blah. And then beef fries, seasoned, canned Coke. It looks beautiful. That's how the web should look like. This is much better. Um, I would add like, like a little divider between, little space or divider between like the burger stuff and the fries and then between the Coke and the fries, just so that you can see it more clearly that these things go together. Like, like this, see, we have a little, little space there. Do the same thing here. Okay. That's quite a lot of things. Um, but it's letting me do it. So maybe, maybe on a good day, they have all of these things, but this is probably going to take like upwards of like all day for them to cook. All right. So that was it. We tested Mr. Beast burger, found several issues, um, several like design layout, cosmetic type of issues, uh, but also found some, uh, breaking issues towards the beginning. All right, Mr. Beast, appreciate all the stuff you do, but your website needs a little bit of work. Hit me up. If you want me to test it again, I will do it free of charge. No problems. Um, just let me know. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like subscribe bell. Throw a comment down if you want to see me test another website in particular. Uh, last week I did Pizza Hut because somebody told me to do Pizza Hut, so I did it. All right, so until next time, thanks for visiting.